What's going on, friends? I have a question from somebody. If I have one kettlebell and I have another kettlebell, what's the best way to jump up into training volume? Let's just say doing kettlebell snatches. So I'm going to do 15 snatches on each side with this 16 kilogram bell. Or about that. Well, I can't count and talk at the same time. All right, so let's say you followed advice on the internet and you have a 16 kilogram kettlebell and you made the jump to a 24 as your next purchase. Now, you're not going to be able to snatch 15 on each side with a 24 right away. So, what could you do? You could do five reps on each side and focus on your form, focus on stabilization with that weight. Once you get to five reps on each side, we're going to drop down to four on each side so your shoulders and your grip doesn't get as fatigued, yet you still get the conditioning aspect on your body. So here, four each side. Basically, it's just a ladder, and there's a lot of different ways that we can use ladder drop sets such as this. Uh, to get you accumulated volume. So with that 16 kilogram, he did 15 in a row. With this 24, I'm doing five each side, four each side, three each side, two each side, one each side. And you add all that up, it ends up becoming 15 on each side, which is 30 total. So what you could do later is you could add a different rung of the ladder you could add a couple singles or doubles at the end. You could add something at the beginning when you get better at this. With the 24, instead of trying to go all out and knock out as many reps as possible or something like that or fatigue your grip or tear your hands, a ladder set like this is a great way to do it. And you can do it with cleans. You can do it with clean and jerk, jerks, long cycle, presses, all sorts of stuff, squats. Anyway, so there's an easy way to jump. Joe would swing this. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe. See you soon.